In late 2023, a single chip inside Huawei's new smartphone sent shockwaves through Washington, D.C. It wasn't just another product launch, it was a moment that caught the world's attention and left policymakers scrambling for answers. This 7 nanometer processor, developed by Hasilicon and manufactured by SMIC, was never supposed to exist under U.S. sanctions. The chip's very presence defied years of coordinated efforts to block China's access to advanced semiconductor technology. The world saw a new phone, experts saw a breach in America's technological blockade. For many, it was proof that the global tech order was shifting in real time. The forbidden chip proved that China could innovate under pressure, bypassing the global supply chain once dominated by the U.S. It was a bold statement of technological self-reliance, achieved despite immense obstacles. It was a geopolitical event, not just a technical feat. The chip's debut sent ripples through boardrooms and government offices worldwide, raising urgent questions about the future of global tech power. The West reacted with disbelief. How had airtight sanctions failed? Analysts and officials alike were forced to reconsider their assumptions about China's capabilities. The chip's appearance forced a painful realization. Export controls hadn't crippled Huawei, but instead spurred its innovation. The company had turned adversity into a catalyst for progress. This event rewrote the US-China tech rivalry narrative. Suddenly the race for technological supremacy was more unpredictable than ever. Huawei, once seen as crippled, had survived and emerged stronger, laying the groundwork for a parallel tech ecosystem. The company's determination inspired a new wave of innovation across China's tech sector. The forbidden chip became a symbol of resilience and a crack in American tech supremacy. It represented not just a technical achievement, but a turning point in the global balance of power. The global tech landscape would never be the same. The world was now watching, waiting to see what would come next in this high-stakes technological rivalry. The Forbidden Chip story began with America's campaign to crush Huawei. Starting in 2018, the US imposed escalating sanctions, cutting Huawei off from American chips, software, and even global suppliers using US technology. The goal, cripple Huawei's business and halt China's tech rise. The US believed no company could survive without American innovation. These measures targeted not just hardware, but also software like Google's Android, aiming to isolate Huawei globally. The strategy was clear, make Huawei an example and slow China's ascent. The stage was set for a high-stakes battle of survival. Faced with extinction, Huawei launched a massive overhaul of its entire supply chain and technological infrastructure. The goal was to eliminate American technology from its products, ensuring no dependency on US-made components. By 2023, it had replaced over 13,000 US-made components with alternatives sourced from other countries. Additionally, Huawei redesigned thousands of circuit boards to fit these new components seamlessly. This wasn't just substitution, it was a complete reinvention, driven by a secret, spare, tire, program started in 2012 to prepare for such scenarios. When sanctions hit, Huawei tripled its R&D spending, investing heavily in innovation. The company mobilized tens of thousands of engineers, working around the clock, to develop new technologies. The company had to innovate rapidly, often creating new systems from scratch to replace those they could no longer use. The result was a transformed, resilient company with a supply chain free from U.S. influence. By 2025, Huawei announced a complete ecosystem independent of American hardware, showcasing its self-sufficiency. This achievement showcased its engineering prowess, innovation, and determination to overcome obstacles. Huawei didn't just survive, it became leaner, more focused, and significantly less vulnerable to U.S. pressure. The Great Rewiring was not just a survival strategy, it was a blueprint for tech independence and future resilience. U.S. sanctions also targeted Huawei's software, banning Google's Android and its essential apps. For global customers, this was a major blow. Huawei's phone seemed obsolete. Instead of folding, Huawei accelerated Harmony OS, its own operating system. Launched in 2019, Harmony OS was designed for all devices, from phones to cars. By 2025, 
it ran on nearly a billion devices, with strong support from the Chinese government and growing international adoption. Harmony OS locked out US firms from China's market and challenged the dominance of Google and Microsoft. Huawei became a platform company, controlling both hardware and software. This vertical integration gave it power and flexibility, much like Apple. Harmony OS became a new weapon in the global tech war. The U.S. bet that Huawei couldn't survive without American tech. By 2025, the opposite was true. U.S. firms lost billions in sales, while Huawei grew stronger. Huawei's telecom market share increased, especially in developing countries. The sanctions forced Huawei to innovate, creating the forbidden chip and expanding Harmony OS. Instead of weakening Huawei, the U.S. made it more resilient and independent. Analysts now question the wisdom of the U.S. strategy. The sanctions expose the risks of technological dependence. In trying to hobble Huawei, the U.S. created a tougher, more determined rival. As Huawei proved its resilience, Europe's stance hardened. By 2025, European leaders moved to ban Huawei and ZTE from telecom networks, citing security and digital sovereignty. Germany, once Huawei's ally, began phasing out Chinese tech from its infrastructure. Barred from Western markets, Huawei pivoted to the developing world. It expanded rapidly in Asia, Africa and Latin America, offering affordable advanced tech with no political strings. Huawei's AI chips and cloud solutions became popular alternatives to U.S. products. The company built local partnerships and trained tech talent, embedding itself in new markets. This global pivot created a vast ecosystem outside U.S. reach. Huawei was building the foundations of a parallel tech world. Huawei's resurgence was powered by massive Chinese state support and long-term planning. This strategic backing allowed Huawei to weather international challenges and emerge stronger. Beijing provided billions in aid and doubled down after U.S. sanctions, helping build China's chip industry. This investment was crucial in reducing dependency on foreign technology. Huawei's spare tire strategy and stockpiling of components meant it was ready for crisis. This foresight ensured continuity in production and innovation. The result? A world splitting into two tech spheres, one led by the US, the other by China. This division is reshaping global technology landscapes. The US pushes its tech stack to allies, China builds its own, with Huawei at the center. This rivalry is intensifying as both sides seek dominance. The forbidden chip symbolizes the end of US tech dominance. It marks a significant shift in the balance of technological power. Now, two incompatible ecosystems compete for global influence. Each side is developing its own standards and protocols. This division will shape commerce, security, and the internet for decades. The impact will be felt across industries and borders. Huawei, once a target, is now a central architect of this new world. Its journey reflects the broader shifts in global power dynamics. Its story is a lesson in resilience and the shifting balance of global power. The future of technology will be defined by these evolving dynamics.